Stretch endured a tortuous, bloody encounter with another Argentinian, Rafael Senna, before coming through a year ago. And also coming through, Frank Warren, back at his first promotion since his shooting at the end of November. Ringside, Jim Watt and Reg Guttridge. So, good chance then for Gary Stretch to uh, get into the big time, as it were, with the International Light and Middleweight Championship by the WBC. That's for those rated from the number 11 to number 30. Caught in the corner there, one of the world's most experienced referees. And uh, not a young man anymore, Arthur McCanty from New York. And Jim Watt knows all about him. He handled two of his world championships. So he's uh, not in too good a mood at the moment. Raymond Allegri of Argentine, a bit of an argument in the dressing room over shorts. And uh, Gary Stretch, the model, came in with padded shoulders to his dressing gown. This is a vacant title. And it's a stepping stone now to not necessarily get into the top ten because they recognise him as separate champion to the full WBC champion. So the three officials, then the New York the referee, Italio Morizzi from Argentina and Larry O'Connell from London. So the last Argentinian uh, that struck faced in this ring. Rafael Senna, he really had a hard and blooded war and had to take account, uh, but he had the Argentinian down twice and won on points. A lot of hand trouble in his career stretch and he wants to really get on with it now. He's only had two fights in the last 18 months. Nose trouble as well, winning the championship against Gary Cooper at Reading. Uh, the British championship, of course. Well, Allegri looks strong, Reg, but very, very crude. Uh, some of these big right-hand swings he's throwing uh, stretch his own fault if they catch him, although one already has caught him. He just wants to keep his chin down nice and safe uh, for the first round. Uh, he shouldn't have too much trouble landing on Allegra. Just don't take any chances, but the, the fellow looks very crude indeed. I dare say... Stretch is hoping that he won't be as, as tough and as awkward as the last Argentine opponent he fought. And the heads are banging in a little bit. That's a bit dangerous, that, but I'm sure McCanty will sort that lot out. So the feeling out round the opening line always of course and uh, as Jim Watt said he's, he's a rough and awkward customer Senor Allegra so there's Jimmy Tibbs there training stretch he's originally from St Helens originally with the Mike uh, Barrett management now with Frank Warren and there's his uh, details both came in bang on the weight of the light middleweights 11 stone and that uh, one loss on uh, his career in fact it was with a cut eye against Julian Montville back in December 85 so there they are it's just giving him the wash and brush up treatment there we know very little about this fellow really the council worker from his town in Argentine. Second round. Well, they won this a recent contest in uh, two minutes and 25 seconds against Derek Wormhold. Stretch has got a great deal of patience when he realises the opponent uh, could be a tough guy, picks his punches well, he certainly can dig. We knew that right back in the boys' club days uh, when he knocked George Collins over, and George Collins was then undefeated. Well, 
felt he screwed him, but a stretch can't afford to take many chances with this fella, can he? No, nope, and I think uh, Stretch is getting a little bit over-involved this early. I would just suggest he keeps his chin down nice and low, his hands up. I think uh, McCandy just wants him to tidy things up a little bit, and that's mainly the Argentinian's fault. But Stretch wants his chin down, his hands up, and then just stick the straight punches uh, straight through towards the leg there, because I don't think he's too difficult to catch. But when he's got a man on the hook stretch, he's more than a bit useful. He's complaining that, and then nothing but complaining the Argentine's boxer and the seconds before and during this contest. He was complaining of being pushed there. Stretch just must be careful of Allegri's head now because he was untidy to begin with but he's all over the place now. Stretch just wants to keep calm and pick his punches, he can finish him off here. Yeah, he did him with that right knee to go there, the southpaw right knee, Jim, didn't he? As we come up to the end of the second. And uh, McCanty trying to keep this a bit tidier. Allegri's legs seem to have gone. Even when punches weren't been throwing, he was threatening to go on the floor there. He seems to have nothing left, Ridge. Obviously, hasn't recovered from that first left-hand punch. And it was a long walk back to the corner for this fellow. And they need all the help he can get from the seconds now. And uh, they should concentrate on him instead of worrying about all the, the backstage argument with the, with the colours and things of shorts. And then worrying the referee about the bandaging that uh, Stretch had on his hands, which was quite legitimate. So let's have a look at it again then. Well, that was the good left hand that went through, and that really staggered the Argentinian. He pulled the stretch down on top of him, and I don't really think he recovered from that punch. From that point on, his legs were very unsteady. three so a good start then uh, for stretch well on top took his time in the opening round and then uh, really walked through that second round and unloaded some punches in style as I say he's, he's got to get his punch sharpness going it's not a difficult two fights in 18 months Yeah, he doesn't have anything at all really to offer here. Just his he strength and his courage, if you like, but the stretch just wants to keep nice and careful, and uh, this shouldn't go on too much longer. He's not rated the best light middleweight in uh, Argentine, but he managed to get uh, confirmation that he could challenge for this vacant championship. Quite a bit of bruising below the Argentinian's left eye. Yeah. 
no, there's no inside work in this. And uh, Stretch really got to take part of that blame. He just lays on as he is there. He's just, just nullifying the other fella. Yeah, well, I think Stretch feels a little bit safer at long range. Uh, the Argentinian has been a bit dangerous with his head, although I have to say Stretch has uh, been a little bit guilty himself as the fight's wearing on. But I think Stretch wants to try to keep it at long range, meet the Argentinian as he comes in rather than step off him. See, this is, this is where he could run into trouble if he backs off and allows the Argentinian to, to let these swings go. It's that old story of the Argentine ball here at least the wild bull of the Pampas as they used to say he comes rushing in and uh, Stretch knows he can catch him accurately it's and as we get up the end of this round it's just as well as a very competent and strong referee in half of my country with this to get out of hand. <laughs> and the replay here again, Jim. Yeah, well, Stretch tended to back off once or twice, which could co cause him some problems. But they are very strong, a very crude man in there with him. He just wants to show a little bit more care, I think, Reg. Well, the face of a man who shipped a bit of punishment in his time, I would have thought. Fourth round, scheduled of course a championship distance of 12 rounds. really made to measure for Stretch in uh, Allegri because he, he really dives in doesn't he? Yeah well Stretch allowed himself to become involved in a bit of a brawl in the previous round that's the last thing he should be doing with this man Stretch has so, so much more talent than this fellow he's not using it he, he, he wants to start using it meeting him as he comes in rather than back off if he stands his ground gets his chin down nice and low I don't really think he could meet this he could miss this fellow as he comes in but if he allows the Allegro to push him back, then he's going to have some problems. First warning, uh, says McCanty. Deduct a point, of course. Uh, if he wants to, but... Uh... Oh, that was a good shot. He used... Use the right hand as an uppercut there. And he's really got the Argentinian rocking again. See, when Stretch just stands uh, a couple of feet off of Allegra, then he has room to throw his punches. Uh, and we saw a little glimpse of the talent he has there. These are, these are better punches from Stretch now. He's picking his shots now. Dropped the gum shield there and replacing it. Now, that's something that obviously the, the WBC rulings, they don't have it in British rules at the moment. They, they wait the time, uh, the referee, when he considers it the correct time. And uh, this, this, will, this round, of course, they stop the clock. And he's pushing, making sure stretches in the neutral corner. And they can't understand what this is all about, the seconds. So it's a medical rule introduced by the WBC, but at that point, certainly Stretch won't be too happy about that, Jim. Well, he was beginning to get in top there. He produced his best punches of the fight so far. And I think the Argentinian they could use the rest uh, a lot more than the stretch could have. He just wants to pick up where he left off, stand his ground and meet this fellow as he comes in.
the referee actually could warn a boxer if he spat the gum chewed out. It has to be knocked out before he allows the contest to be stopped to replace it. Looks as though Jimmy Tibbs is probably saying, wait for him to come in and then counter, and that's the way I want it done. One of these days, one of these seconds, are accidentally hit the man while he's in the corner. That won't go down too well. Jim, have a look at that replay again there. Still a little bit untidy, both men uh, a little bit careless with their heads. But uh, that, that was the good shot, that was, that, that was where uh, Stretch picked his opening and then drove the punch home. That's more of what we'd expect. Round five. And the British champion then, well on top in this uh, World Boxing Council version of the International Light Middleweight Championship. Just to repeat that, that means if you're rated anywhere from 11 to 30, you're eligible. square as he came in there and shot the, the left hand over but didn't quite lean in enough with that as he normally does yeah well because he was moving back he lost quite a bit of the power in that punch I think if Stretch would just stand his ground and let the good punches go as Allegra comes forward it, look, it really looks as though he couldn't miss but he's backing off losing his own power that way and then getting involved in a bit of a brawl Jim, can he? It's a bit of a wild punch, you might get lucky. Yeah, I'm more worried about Allegra's head. When Stretch backs off and allows Allegra to bull him, then there's every chance the heads are going to smack together. Oh, there's a good shot again there with the right hand that time, the leading arm. has actually landed some decent punches in this round but they don't seem to have the same effect on the Argentinian he's taken them now and keeps coming through maybe has a little bit more to offer than we first thought but it is still crude too happy there about uh, Allegra's gum shield coming out right at the end of that round there and was telling the corner what's this all about. So this is where the Argentinian is really throwing himself uh, in this replay at Stretch and Stretch can't afford to drop the arms like that. Ten seconds. 
Round six. And it's the old uh, bull of the matters or job now by stretch. He can't afford to relax too much. He was so much on top in the opening rounds. And now this rather crude Argentinian Allegra has flung himself a stretch in the last couple of rounds with some success. But well, he just stopped him in his touch well there, the British champion with that, that left hand, almost like an uppercut that comes in. Now, he tried it there, but it was blocked by the forearm. Strange, Jim, as we were saying, the last time he fought an Argentinian centre uh, at the London Arena, it was, well, it was rougher than this, but it's amazing how he gets himself involved, doesn't he, Stretch, with this type of opposition. Yeah, well, 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 he calls himself the gifted one, but he, he seems to forget about his talents and they really get involved in brawls when it's not really necessary. I mean, now and again, he gets his work together here, he's throwing some good punches, doing the right thing, but far too often it's becoming very untidy. seem to spot there that Allegri, yeah, Allegri is hurt. He, he makes a big thing of it, Jim, shaking his head, doesn't he, Allegri? It, uh, it looks as though he's suddenly going to fold up and then he throws himself at Stretch. Very strange fighter indeed. Well, he got through with uh, one of the few clean punches he's landed on Stretch's chin there. Thankfully, it didn't seem to trouble Stretch too much. His legs have gone again, Reg. Yeah, definitely. They're unbuffing at the knees there, right above us here. And I think he could do it now, couldn't he, stretch in this round if he just picks his spots as good champions should. Straight through, straight as a lance, those two. I would think, Jim, it's a question of how long now, isn't it? Surely with Allegri. Yeah, well, it seems as though all Stretch has to do is tidy his work up a little bit, get the clean punches home. But having said that, Allegri, he certainly has a bit of courage. He's taken punches that would have knocked a few people over in this round. But he just comes back, five seconds to go, it looks as though he's going to survive the round okay. So the referee now over in the Argentinian's corner making sure uh, that he's fit to continue and uh, it looks like the manager, Antonio Mamorella, is uh, having something to say. No, it's all over. He's unhappy with that... Uh, he suspects now that Allegri can't continue and although the management, they, they're not too happy about that and neither is the fighter. So uh, it began with a backstage row and now he can't understand now. This is one of the world's most competent and certainly experienced referees. Goes right back to Floyd Patterson and Ingemar Johansson days. He refereed one of their three fights. And uh, at the end of the sixth round, and the crowd not happy with that, but I imagine that Gary Stretch is, because it puts him really now in the, the top flight of the world ratings. At the end of round six, ladies and gentlemen, referee Arthur McCanty has stopped the contest. The winner and the new WBC international light middleweight champion, Gary Stretch. So while he's taking the, the plaudits there, referee McCanty went over to uh, Allegri's corner and made the interpreter explain why he had stopped the contest and then officially raises the winner's arm. So he didn't look oh, too happy before the fight, he doesn't look too happy to after. the championship belt to Gary Stretch, the World Boxing Council representative, Mr. Ray Clark.
So Ray Clark representing the World Boxing Council, putting on the WBC belt, their former secretary Ladies of the Boxing Board of Control. WBC International Light Middleweight Champion. And there it is. Gary so to go with the Lonsdale belt is one that now will be very important to the part-time model of the game. Gary Strett from St. Helens and now from East London. Arthur, can you explain why you stopped that? Yes, I stopped it because uh, he didn't win a round. I don't believe he won a round. I'm taking that. Uh, uh, I didn't give him a round. And he was hurt. An indication of being hurt is when you drop a mouthpiece twice. He was uncoordinated. He was getting hurt. He was not defending himself properly and decided rather than him getting uh, more punishment in the subsequent rounds, I stopped the fight, which is uh, a humanitarian way to stop a fight. He had nowhere to go. Gary, I don't think we're going to argue with the referee. It came a bit quickly at the end, but it looked inevitable. Yeah, uh, I wish he'd let it go on a little bit more. Uh, I Why? A, well, I had the first few early rounds, I, I thought I boxed OK. Then I seemed to lose concentration. Uh, and then coming out for the round, which pro the earlier rounds were where they stopped it, I got my second win and started getting my mind right again. Uh, and then I felt it was a matter of time. But uh, a little bit disappointed how untidy it was. It should have been a much crisper job. But he was a little bit more awkward than probably he looked from outside the ring. Jim Watt was suggesting that if you stood your ground, you've got so much talent that you could have picked him off. But you got He's, yourself involved in brawls. I think Jim's probably uh, exactly right. Um, I'm still learning. It's experience. Uh, I could have done a better job, but uh, I'm just glad that I've won the title and hope I can improve and get better, you know, in the near future. OK, let's move across to your manager, Frank Warren. <laughs> Frank, first of all, good to see you back in a boxing ring. How are you feeling uh, as far as your health is concerned? Uh, much better than the Argentinian. <laughs> I'm OK, yeah, fine. What, what after effects has it had on you, uh, the shooting incident, physically? Uh, physically, you know, just getting a bit of strength back takes a bit of time, but uh, I'm, I'm OK. Have right. you lost anything at all? I lost a bit of weight. Yes, I can see lost that. Lost a few quid through not being able to work. Other than that, I'm OK. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to waste you for get a few good off of you <laughs> you don't get too much from me these days but let, let me ask you this frank what plans have you got for gary stretch now he says he's in a learning process well you know he's only had two fights in the last year so he's been out of action for various injuries and i just noticed that his hand is cut again he keeps getting his problem with his hand he keeps getting a cut when he fights um i what i'm looking for now is obviously to step him up in class looking and we've talked about it about three or four more fights under his belt take him to the end of the year and then looking for a well title shot